thing gets ready for that, we'll, we'll actually do a demo of that. But with the Vixen file doing the full leading edge repair, and I haven't tried this one, we'll see if it's sharp. But the idea is you hold it on here, usually about a 40, so the more you want to cut, the more angle, I mean, the more you get as you slide down the blade this way. And so if I want to cut, you know, do less damage, I kind of would hold it at him. You can see how it curls off the, the little curl there. And uh, here a slight little ring on that thing. Oh, there you go. Know that gets that. Yeah. Oh, wow. You can get a nice little certain note going there. Wow. Oh, that cool. Anyway. But you can see how it's a metal that's coming out. And that's why I put this out here. Oh, uh, if someone could drag over a broom, we want to have a broom sitting here. So as you have messed up, we don't want to see these filings tracked all over the shop. So right as I finish here, uh, we're going to want to sweep up our filings so that, uh, yeah, so we'll set the, uh, wait, bring it over here. We'll just set it right on the table here, the brush and the broom. And, so typically I just kind of set the broom right here, put the brush right here on the table along with the dustpan and have it all sitting right here in this convenient spot. So if you got filings all over the floor, you can sweep up your mess right away, okay? But you can see how the stuff comes off of there. But you see how it's cutting real smooth? Now I might even go ahead and put a little damage in here to practice that a little bit. So now if you're running, you see it's all chippy, <laughs> chippy nasty there, right? Yeah. Okay. So, not going to file that damage. So I'm holding again a certain angle here, and then the idea is to start filing that. But I got to maintain my profile, even though the damage is up here. I still got to kind of file down here to work my, myself up to there as I file that out of there. And you can see how it makes nice, smooth cuts. Still got some pretty deep ones right there, and still see that. So the more angle you want, the more angle you have, the more. Yeah, if I get more, I'm going to cut more at this way. So I usually hold about a 45. That's kind of a nice compromise. But again, I got to, I got to come down here away from the nicks because I got to maintain that profile that's in there. If I just sat here up here and go like this, well, then I'm going to end up with a real blunt edge. And it's going to come off fast because that's fairly thin there. So I don't want to do that. I want to get down here. And now, and if it blades for it, I may be having to take nice long strokes too to clean up that damage that's down there. So you're having to work a combination of pressure on the file because I'm working that edge. Or you could go all the way. I could. You want to get down to the nose. Right, so mainly to the way you are. Yeah. You just want to scare them out. Yeah. I was just trying to get rid of the nicks for you for now to kind of show you how that. You can almost, it's almost like a drill bit where you get the night, you're trying to get those nice little curled. So, as you, how long of a thing can you make? Oh, there's a nice long one. See? Yeah. <laughs> anyway, so that's it. You'll come over and you'll practice working this Vixen file on here. I like to say on some airplanes, the some airplanes, this whole leading edge will have a lot of erosion and pitting on it from the water on a seaplane. So that's where you almost exclusively use these kind of files, as you're cleaning up the leading edge on the things. Tension on deck.